Hello there, ASFG community. This is Mike Kaufman, School Wide Tech Integration Coach, with a video going over some of the neat resources that you will find on Common Sense Media. Common Sense Media is a platform designed to help educators and parents make smart and informed choices about the media that their child is interacting with. Movies, games, apps, uh, digital citizenship, how to have tough conversations, it's all in there. What we're going to focus on today is how to use common sense media to look up important information around movies, apps, and games that your child might be watching or playing. Because let's face it, there's so much new content coming out that as a parent, it's almost impossible to keep up what's safe, what's appropriate, what's right for my child, right? It's hard to answer. Common sense media is one um, extra resource that you can have in your parent toolkit to help you make informed decisions that are right for you and your family. Okay, so the first thing is you want to go to commonsense.org and note that they do have Una Programa Latino, right? They do have a resource um, with different things in Spanish. Please keep in mind that not everything they have in English is available in Spanish, so there's some things that you will not be able to find. However, there are lots of different resources to explore in Spanish. That's the language you feel more comfortable in. Now to use this resource, right, to search about um, different uh, movies and apps, in the homepage they will have uh, popular and new releases up top that you can always click on, or you can use the search bar up top. So for example, you might be wondering, is Fortnite an appropriate game for my child? Right, if you search it in there, notice that you're gonna have a couple different options, including a complete ultimate guide to Fortnite uh, down below, but if you just want a quick or short review, you can click continue reading. Now keep in mind that a new policy for Common Sense Media is you get three free uh, reviews a month. If it's something that you're using more, you can explore purchasing an extended package. However, if three a month is good enough, there's no need to do so. In here, you're gonna have a general star rating as well as the age of Common Sense Media, uh, recommended age by parents, as well as for kids. You could see here in this case, a slight difference in what parents and kids say. However, what I find most useful is if I scroll down a little bit, it's gonna give you me different information based on some different topics or different themes. So for example, language. Well, let's say um, your child's appropriate use of language is important, right? You can click there and it's gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on with some more details. Um, let's say your concern is violence, right? Should your child be exposed to violence? Again, you can click on it, and it's going to give you some more information based on the type of violence that is shown in the game. Now, this is also the case for uh, movies. So, for example, Ghostbusters, uh, an awesome movie that I loved as a child. So, um, let's go to the original one here, and let's see what Common Sense Media has to say. So, they're recommending an age of 11, which is consistent with what parents and kids say. And then again, if I scroll down, I'm gonna get some information there. So for example, um, if you're concerned about uh, sex and what kind of exposure your child is getting, you can click there. And again, it's going to give you detailed information from the movie, right? Specific lines, specific acts, and so forth. And again, it's the same for different uh, things, language, positive role models, violence, um, the topics are all there as well as in a short write-up and some specific reviews. I know that Common Sense Media plays a big role in our house when we're deciding what movies to watch or what games my kids can play or what apps they can add to the iPad. Without it, it's uh, hard to make informed choices and with it, I feel like as a parent, I'm a little bit more in the know and can better, again, make right choices for my family and for my kids. If you have questions, please reach out and again, good luck as we navigate this digital lives um, as a family together, trying to help raise and help become positive digital citizens.